Saint Kizito, the most famous of the Uganda martyrs after Saint Charles Luanga. He was the youngest of all the martyrs of Uganda. He had a very lively character and a very cheerful young boy. He was only 12 years old by the time he was killed. Join me as we look at the life of this interesting young martyr. Saint Kizito was burned to death on the 3rd of June, 1886, at Namugongo. He is the patron saint of children and primary schools. I had said before that he was 12 years old by the time he died, but other sources put him to be at around 13 or 14 years of age. He was the youngest of the martyrs. He was baptized by Charles Luanga. Though young, he knew the values of faith, religion, purity, and goodness. He knew how to distinguish what was right and wrong, and act accordingly. He was persuaded to back out in order to save his earthly life, but he adamantly chose to follow Christ, regardless of the consequences. What a shining example for our youth to emulate. Saint Kizito was baptized on the 25th or 26th of May, 1886. He was a burnt alive in Namugongo. His father was known as Lukomera and his mother Wangabira, who bore nine children before deserting her husband. She died at the age of 40. Saint Kizito, as a page, was attached to the group which served in the private quarters of the enclosure of the palace, and not as earlier thought that he was under Luang Charles Luanga in the court of the audience hall. He was employed largely as the Kabaka's errand boy. Being young, cheerful, and good-looking, he was also one of the objects of the Kabaka's unnatural lust. However, in this child of about thirteen years, the tyrant encountered a resolution and a resistance to his gross passion that put him to shame. Saint Kizito was constantly beseeching Father Laudel to baptize him because he said the Kabaka would not think twice about putting him to death. But the priest kept putting him off, saying that he was too young. On one occasion, he stayed the whole night at the mission, declaring that he would not leave until the date for his baptism was fixed. And on another evening, Father Laudel was only able to get rid of him by taking him in his arms and putting him out through the window. Finally, Father Laudel promised to baptize him in a month's time, but before the month was over, Kizito was both baptized and a martyr. He was baptized, as I'd said before, by St. Charles Luanga. St. Kizito, pray for us.